Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some functionality of Megascan's bridge. The bridge is a content management system for importing, browsing, searching, tagging and exporting Megascan's assets. In particular, I wanted to highlight the speed in which you can download an asset, export an asset to preferred application and have it render in, in this case, 3D Studio Max and V-Ray. But before we get started with that, let's take a look at the settings. In the options menu, you set the repository and download paths. Both these are shared with the Megascan Studio. All your downloads are automatically extracted and organized by the bridge into the Megascan's repository path you have selected. And any new surfaces you create using the studio will also be saved here. The repository path could be a local directory, a shared network drive, a USB stick, a version control repository, and so on. Anywhere you want to unpack your scan data. The download path should be where your browser downloads files. The bridge simply takes those zips and extracts them automatically to the repository. If you wish, you can delete any downloaded zips after they have been extracted. So I'm gonna browse the library and I'm gonna look for a rock. And I have one in mind that's mossy, which I'm gonna do a manual search for. And then I want a sharp rock, which I'll just pick from one of the tabs. I'll check my settings, I want 4K offline rendering and specular workflow. Microsurface will be gloss since I'm working with V-Ray. What's nice about this is that it keeps your settings from previous downloads so I don't have to change much. For this particular instance I don't need the Z-Tool, I just want the high poly mesh and my maps are good to go. I like having my bump as an EXR so it has all the detail and you get a nice crisp bump. I'm gonna download that and I'm also gonna need another wood. I only have about two or three and I want another one, uh, a long stick for the background. And I don't think I've used this one, so I'll try this one out. A great feature of the bridge is how quickly you can populate it with your assets once they're done downloading. There we are. There's a new stick and our new rock ready to be sent into whatever application you want. And in this case we're gonna go with 3D Studio Max and V-Ray. My Mac scene is just a basic setup. We have a V-Ray camera with basic settings and a V-Ray sun system with basic settings. I just want to get a quick result. So, go to Max, V-Ray settings, and I want to change the bump to EXR because that is what we downloaded. We have our path set and then we hit export. And this will export our maps to the folder you set, and it'll also export your OBJ or FBX to Max and apply the shader with the correct settings. And there you go. With a simple click of a button you have your asset ready to build the scene and ready to render without having to navigate dialogues and plug in maps, which gets really monotonous as we all know after you've done 10 or so assets. So you can start building up scenes and shots relatively quickly, and it just makes it fun to build. In this scene coming up, I threw in a couple of assets and started just playing around with some structure and added some of the scatter assets and scattered some leaves and twigs and did a few forest packs using the assemblies as collision detection. It didn't take too long, it took maybe about three hours to get to this point. I started just really walking in the camera and how I wanted it to feel from my reference photo and I think it turned out pretty well. Thank you for watching this overview. Make sure to visit megascans.se to learn more.